Hi guys, today I'm here with my September favorites and I'll try to keep this video short this time because I actually don't have that many things to talk about. I'll start with my beauty favorites and I only have two. They are both from Essence. I've been trying out a lot of uh, products from their new autumn collection and these are the two that stood out to me this month, I guess. The first one is a nail polish in the shade Amazed by You. I'm wearing it today, I've been wearing it for pretty much the whole month. I don't think I've worn any other nail polish this month apart from like a red one uh, which I used for the Cruella de Vil tutorial. But um, yeah, this is the one I've been wearing all the time. This is gorgeous deep burgundy slash plummy shade which just screams autumn to me and the quality of this nail polish is amazing as well as it is with all Essence nail polishes. They only need two coats to get them opaque, they're not streaky, they give like a nice shine. I do use Sasha Vite on top um, just because I don't like waiting around for the nail polish to dry. The Sasha Vite top coat really does give your nails like out of the world shine. But if you do like to wear nail polish on your own without a top coat, um, these are great. Also, I haven't done a comparison or anything like that, but this nail polish reminds me of Essie's Bahama Mama. I'm not sure if I still have it because I think I ran out of it last fall, but if I do, I'm gonna do a comparison on my blog because I have a feeling these two shades are very similar. The second product I loved is the Pure Nude Makeup. I did not expect to like this product at all because I'm very picky with foundations and also the Essence foundations that I tried before um, didn't really excite me but this one is really lovely. It is definitely an everyday kind of foundation. It has a very low coverage but what I like about it is that it's very liquidy so I can just slap it on my face and be done with it in like two minutes. And what I love about it most is the fact that you literally cannot feel it on your face. Whenever I'm breaking out, I just hate wearing foundation because I can feel the foundation gathering around my pimples and the areas getting all oily. I just hate the feeling. Uh, but this one actually doesn't feel like anything on your skin and that's why I've loved uh, wearing it for work this past month well, for the two weeks that I actually wore makeup because then I got sick and I couldn't be bothered but um, yeah, it's a great everyday kind of foundation and I would totally recommend you check it out if you don't have like a very problematic skin and you only need something to just even out your skin tone very quickly. Moving on to random favorites, my food favorite of the month are these Anzac biscuits. I took an Australian module when I was um, at uni and the professor that we had for those classes, she was just the most awesome professor I've ever had. Like she was such a character and I loved her. One day she brought us some biscuits to try. I think she made them herself because I'm pretty sure you can get this in my country. Uh, but yeah, they were the Anzac biscuits, which apparently the Australian and New Zealand soldiers ate when they were fighting in the First World War. They look very boring and the description, I guess, is not promising, but oh my god, these biscuits taste amazing. They are very, um, like, coconutty, I would say. Oh, I just found a description on the packaging. Um, it says that... They are crunchy, full of oats and coconut, ah, I knew it, and with the comforting sweetness of golden syrup. They are really, really nice. I fell in love with them the first time I tried them, and when I saw them at Sainsbury's a couple of weeks ago, I might have done a little happy dance. Moving on to my next random favorite, which is a camera, my new-ish vlogging camera, which I already showed in one of my vlogs. Um, it's Canon G7X and I haven't really realized that but now that I watch other people's vlogs and notice it like all the big vloggers pretty much have this vlogging camera and I'm not surprised because it is freaking amazing and dad if you're watching this which he probably does because he's a bit of a stalker but yeah dad if you're watching this thank you again for this new camera because I am in love with it. The quality of the footage is really amazing, even in low light settings, which is what I had problems with when I was vlogging with my iPhone. And also this pop-up screen is just brilliant and perfect for vlogging. Okay, now I have a whole bunch of songs to talk about. 
I was basically listening to about at least 10 different songs on repeat this month, but I tried to narrow my selection down and I think I only chose only five songs to talk about, four songs to talk about. So I kind of saved the other ones for my next <laughs> monthly favorites. The first one is Automatic by Don Brocco. They're a British rock band um, and I have no idea they existed up until a couple of months ago when pretty much all of my Twitter timeline, well, I mean people who live in London, um, started talking about it and going to their concerts and apparently they're quite popular here. I have to admit I haven't really listened to a whole bunch of their songs but the one that I had listened to and fell in love with is Automatic which I'm going to play for you. I always feel very awkward when I'm showing you these songs because I don't know what to do. Normally I would sing along, but you know, that's not the best idea because I can't sing. So <laughs> that was the first song. The second one is Dark Times by The Weeknd and surprise, surprise, Ed Sheeran. I don't know if this one is like wildly available or something because I sent it to my sister and she said that she couldn't listen to it. Like apparently it's like blocked or something in... Slovenia? I don't know. Um, it's weird, but here it is. Not the right one. Just an ad. <laughs> Next one is Drag Me Down by One Direction, which I'm sure you all heard. My favorite version of the song is actually a cover by Tyler Ward and Chris Collins. The last one is also a cover. Originally it's from Demi Lovato, it's a song called Cool for the Summer, but I really enjoy the version Megan Ton just did on her channel. So these are all of my favorites of the month of September. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. As always, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!